Welcome along to the Winter Series 7. For this trip, we are at the awesome Boathouse Fishery, a lake that does a lot of winter bites. I've been here a few times before, so it's the perfect venue for this trip. Welcome along to the Winter Series 7. So for this trip, we are at the awesome Boathouse Fisheries in Shropshire. Now the lake itself is around about five acres in size. It's definitely got some good winter form. I've been fortunate enough to fish here in the winter, had a few bites myself, and fingers crossed for this trip, we can get amongst them. Now who's joining me on this trip, I believe is Bart, but I'm unsure about that. So. I'm sure I can hear him in the background. Definitely hear him coming. So let's go and see whether it is Bart or not. All right, Bart. All right, mine. How are you? I'm all good, mate, you? What are we doing then? Mate, you need a haircut. What? I need to roll my hair. I think it's lovely. It's really nice. Do people come all the way from Brazil to see, to see you? Because what you want to do, right, what you want to do, you want to get a PB and we'll waft a PB wafter out there. I reckon that'll work today. Can't PB on babblers? Huh? PB on babblers? Oh, yeah. You've got to cast a PB and then fill it in. Don't forget to fill it in. Fill it in. Cast a PB. That's what you want to do, right? Oh, that was a long journey. I'm a bit peckish. Oh, good job I bought a snack, eh? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> so, what are we doing then, Mars? Did you bring me anything? Uh, yeah, funny enough, I, I brought you a treat. So, and, what and, you bought me? Oh, well, see, seeing as you got carrot in your hand, I've actually bought you some carrot cake. Some what? Carrot cake. Carrot cake? Yeah. What's carrot cake? Well, it's, it's carrot, carrot that's in a cake. A cake? Don't put in cake. Don't put in cake. I don't want no carrots and no cake. I'm going back brizzle. Well, I'm not too sure what happened to Bart then. I, I think he's just ran off somewhere, to be honest. But I do believe we have got a replacement. Here it comes. It's Bonio. Oh, Hello, brother. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> right? Yeah, good, yeah? Yeah. It's been a while, wasn't it? It's been a while. I think our last one was, I think it was a couple of years ago. Yeah, we were into lockdown and my job mm. changed and stuff, so. Yeah, yeah. That was the last time we were out together. Yeah, mate. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, should be good. Should mm. be good. Well, we've got a lovely venue for us to fish. It's proper nice, nice, isn't it? I'm yeah. well impressed with it. Just yeah. Fantastic little yeah, place. Yeah, gorgeous. It's, you know, it's, I'd never heard of it before, and you said about it, and I Googled it. I'd look at some of the fish in here, which are 
off Which the are proper. chain, mate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and was like, yeah, I'm happy to go there. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for the phone call. And uh, thank you, Bart, for freaking out about a carrot cake. Yeah, yeah, very odd. Don't know very what's going odd. on there with it's him. all right, we'll catch up with him another time. Yeah, cool. <laughs> right, I think we need to get some swims yeah. chosen. You can choose first. And Thanks, uh, <laughs> we'll see where we go yeah. from there. All right, Sam. All on, right. Let's get some kit out. I want to get warm. Mm, same. The sun was out early, it was nice and warm, but typical fisherman Mars, one he stitched me up, I'm sure he has, convinced me that this is the peg to be in. Typical Mars standard, yeah, Bonesy, got to be in there, that's the peg to be in. I'll let you have the best peg. He's in the next door, you watch. I know how that man works. But anyway, had a little look at this, some pictures of this lake when it was empty and it's slightly deeper this side. Um, I know it's very shallow over there. I found a little clear spot over here next to some of this like oniony weed. Um, so I put two rods on that, one on a half tone bug, one on a PB. Um, I've also added some 8mm bug, a little bit of corn, some liquid food and some crumb. So I've put about six bombs over the top of that because I didn't want to put too much in to start with. I want to try and fill my way in. And then the left hand rod is cast down to the left where I know there's a couple of car poles I've seen on some pictures. So it's obviously been feeding on that side. So I've put a little bag down there and the day's nearly over already. I tell you what, it's, 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 you know, you turn up with Moss. First he talks, then he talks a bit more, then he gives you some grief, then he convinces you to go in this swim. And I just reckon he stitched me up, but we'll wait and see. Right, well, we've chosen our swims. I don't know what he's talking about, stitching him up. I let him have first choice. <laughs> so he's gone in, is it you view? So I'm not too sure on the swims, but I'm in the sluice anyway. So I'm up to the right hand side of Bonesy. He's got the open, what he's got all the middle of the lake. So I don't know what he's whinging about. But, but yeah, this is the area that I pretty much fished when I was last here, we, I was actually fishing it this zone, sort of long from the double swim, which is right down the other end of the lake. We were lucky enough to have the whole lake to ourselves. So we ended up sort of fishing up this end and that was around about this sort of time last year. So I'm luckily I've in me swim mapper app, I've got them marked out. What we we're actually doing was chucking the marker floats over here, coming round, baiting up from here. So I've got it marked out in the distances from this swim exactly so one of them's out six wraps not very far out which is to the left hand side of the swim pretty much towards the boathouse that is and then the other two rods are going to go on one spot which is out on a zone where we had the lake drained down and there was quite a big car pole out there and i've pretty much i think i've found it out there but um, I've obviously got to check that so that's the plan at the moment but this six wrap spot I'm going to basically put a load of bait onto that well a load of bait and probably about five or six spawns medium spawns of just boily and the house pellets that are here because that's one of the rules and they love pellets I love boilies in here so that's how I'm going to fish it now free rig wise I'm going to fish one on the deck on a bug wafter and then I'm going to fish the other two on bug white pop-ups on basically Ronnie rig sort of thing. So that's the plan at the moment. The Bones is here chewing a carrot. <laughs> what is he up to? <laughs> Bit worrying of him turning up with his carrots and what have you, but um, but obviously that's the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Plan? No. Planted? No, no, when you've got um, split personality. Oh, that's, that's what that. Bipolar. Bipolar. 
Psychopathic? Psychopathic? What's he talking about? Psychopathic. No, you are. Oh, dear. Schizophrenic. We got there in the end. Unbelievable he is. <laughs> He's a boy. We always have a laugh when we're out with the old Bonio. So, uh, Mate, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> He's a boy. Yeah, you had better leave me alone because the light is fading. So, or the fog's rolling in, one of the two. So, oh, so this isn't very far out. So them bones, Rod Tower <laughs> in a world of his own, yeah, with you. Yeah, they are, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're fishing, Moz. It's nice to be back out with you. We haven't mm. been out for a little while, have we? It's, um, Would have been Farlow's last time, wouldn't it? Would, yeah, yeah, it was a couple of years ago. And then mm. when you I had a bit of a break. Bream. Yeah, and I kissed Bream and then obviously I had a bit of a break when I worked for Maver and stuff. And yeah. That, that did you no good, did it? I was lucky. I was lucky. Said, Come back, we miss you. <laughs> um, so yeah, but it's nice. It's nice to be back out, and this fishery mm. is fantastic, isn't it? I know you. Yeah, lovely. You appear a little bit with yeah, the odds yeah. and ends, and it is what a place. I mean, we're the only ones on. Mm. Yeah, Cracking yeah, which is nice as so. well. Yeah, well, they're belters. They are mm. absolute belters in here. So if we can get our hands on one, we'll be laughing. Hopefully. I mean, I've had a liner, which is quite positive. You know, so there's obviously some fish knocking about. Yeah. Um, I know you had a liner not long after. Yeah, on the right hand. Well, yeah. So yeah. There's obviously some fish in the area. It's just whether we can get them to feed. So mm. I think mm. I'll start just. I'm just going to start light. I've only put a little bit of bait out, try and get a bite. And if I get yeah, a bite, then yeah. try and build on that, I suppose. Yeah, I've pretty much done the same as you sort mm. of thing. What have you, what have you done hook bait wise? So I've gone, first I've done a half tone, 12 mil pink on a Ronnie. Mm. Uh, over Because I've put some 8 mil bug out. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of corn, a little bit of liquid, a little bit of crumb. Um, I just wanted something that really, they don't, the nice thing about the half tones, they're not super in your face. And I think it's just at this time of year, just that little bit is going to hopefully pick one up. Yeah. It's PB, which you know, you, I've got so much confidence in, corn's in there, little yellow PB, you know, it gives the same sort of colour. And then the other one I've got on a bag. So, you know, yeah, hopefully move the bag around, see mm. what happens. And is that what you're going to do with that? Just roam that one around? Yeah, if I have, if, if it, potentially if it hasn't gone off in the middle of the night, I might have a move of it because obviously, You've had liners, I've had liners, and th those rods are much further down the lake than what mm, the bag is. Yeah. So if I don't have any sort of knocks on the bag, then I'll perhaps move it around a little bit more. And it's the yeah, nice cool. thing about a bag, isn't it? You've got yeah. really tied, just pump, 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 just keep moving it. Yeah, mate. Quick bite, Indeed. So. Yeah, we'll see where we're going. Yes, yeah, we need to put some food on. Well, you see the fog's rolled in behind us as well, which... Yeah, um, it does. That temperature drop massively as well. Yeah, yeah, it's made it cold. Yeah, I would cuddle you, but there's nothing to you. <laughs> <laughs> Put on a little bit. <laughs> yeah. there, so I'll just cuddle you yeah, instead. Me, I'll cuddle you instead. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I'm, it's like the fat conductor next to, I don't know, a pair <laughs> a of <stick>. stalks. <laughs> what was it you said when we were out with Tom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a tripod. A tripod. Before, yeah, no, no, it's like a tripod <laughs> a speed camera or something. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've got your legs out, so it looks like the tripod legs. <laughs> that's how Ollie's here, isn't it, Paul? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. It'd be nice. We'll have a couple of nights here, won't we? And mm. We'll have fun as we always do. And yeah, mate. No, look. And there's to no it. bream in the lake. I'm devo. Yeah, I know. I you're am gutted actually, about yeah, that, yeah. I always yeah. like to catch a gutted. Bream. Mate, you, you still might. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am that good, man. I can always catch a bream everywhere I go. Um, oh, my goodness. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see what the night brings, mate, innit? Let's uh, get some dinner on. And yeah, what are you cooking me? I ain't. What? I messaged you, said, do you need food? You went, no, I haven't done my order with, with Scott. So. Just sort yourself some food, so that's what I did. Wow, you didn't sort me any? No. Oh, it's a good job I brought me own. Well, I did actually bring enough because I always do. Oh, well, <laughs> oh, damn, I dropped myself in here. <laughs> right, let's get some grub Yeah, on. man. <laughs> 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 I 
You've got to leave it two weeks, didn't you? What, dry? On the, without any water? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, dirty bastard. Yep. Yep. Ollie! That's on, isn't it? The line's going up, isn't it? Ah, oh, well. Good morning. Very, very quiet night last night, which was unexpected, to be honest. I thought me and Bones would get a bite, but we have been getting liners throughout the night. And literally, we got up early this morning, been watching the pond, and the last 10 minutes or so, we've been watching them show right over the top of this rod. So, quickly got the old bike cam out, obviously. And uh, within minutes of pressing the button, it's ramped off, you know, poetry in motion, I guess, which is pretty cool. And as I add the bite, this fish just sort of dolphined out of the water, didn't he, Rose? I, I was sat there looking up the video. I was, I was like, that, that was a show. Did he see that? <laughs> He's attached to it. <laughs> so, yeah, we could have Stephen the Sturgeon on. <laughs> No sturgeon in here, Steve, sturgeon. but there is a lot of belters in here, that is for sure, and let's hope this is one of them. But yeah, very cold night last night, freezing, Baltic. Um, Bones was away with the fairies, weren't you, Bones? So only till about 12 o'clock. Only until 12. <laughs> laid there for three or four hours listening, couldn't hear anything. Oh, he looks like quite a lot nice of MMA. Man. MMA? Yeah. What are you practicing for? I don't know. Christmas it's fight. Like, like, <laughs> just men wrestling. Men wrestling. He loves a bit of men wrestling, didn't you, mate? Man. man wrestling. That's why I'm just with Bart, doesn't make it. <laughs> I know what he's like in the night, so struggle cuddle. Struggle cuddle. Mm -hmm. Do you want to net this for me, Bane? I can do. <laughs> Look at him, absolutely awesome, especially for this time of year, definitely. 21 pounds and 14 ounces of original Boathouse Common. So this is one of the originals that were swimming around in here, hence the name, of course. <laughs> and he is obviously a bug muncher. So here comes Bart, I mean Bones. And <laughs> Ah, oh, look at him. How sexual you are. He, oh, yeah, here we go. Listen to the sob story. You want to put violin music over this bit. I oh. outside you got dusted up so much on them challenges, didn't you? Oh, here we go now with that. Look at ya. What? Stop creeping around behind me. We've got a fish that needs to go home here. <laughs> so, right, so I'm going to get a couple of snaps of this one, but yeah, lovely to get one on the first morning, of course. It's been a few showing out there as well, and fingers crossed there's more to come, but in the meantime, what a carp. Yes! Mwah! Lovely creature. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so uh, what's the plan today? So you're not going to change anything or anything like no, that, I'm, no? The one rod that I've been roving around, I'm going to still keep that light moving, mm. just to see, because you know at this time of year, if the fish are in one place, they don't tend to move as much. You know, I'm keeping the baited spot, because, you know, I had liners on it, I've had that, whatever it was this yeah, morning. Yeah, you an bite off of that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty confident of a bite off that. The roving rod might might produce one as well. Um, so yeah, the plan is just to, just to stick at it a little bit. There's been... When we turned up yesterday, there was some fizzing over my sort of area, so I was thinking... Was you know, that what made be... you choose the swim then? Well, I didn't... I didn't choose the swim. You said, why didn't you go in the first swim? I so, didn't choose the swim. Stop blaming me for your downfall. <laughs> 
Are there anything any bream in here for me to go for, which is devastating? Yeah, that is a bit well, gutting for like you. I do like having a bream in the room. Mate, we'll find your pond on the way home. You can have a little bream bash. Well, if a push comes to shove, I know the stock ponds are out the back. I can always well, get back that. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> the training right. some C1s, I can do a... <laughs> we'll get you a C1, don't you worry. <laughs> right, wicked. Well, yeah, it's just a case of sitting on our hands at the moment, I feel, yeah. and hopefully one rattles off sometime soon. We've still got a day soon. left, haven't we? I mean, at this time of year, it's nice, we're comfortable, it's, you know, it's cold, but, you know, we're all right out here, and it's yeah. a great place to be. I mean, this fishery's fantastic. I yeah, lovely. didn't even know it existed, to be honest mm. with you, mate, and mm. I've come up here, I'll definitely be coming back. That's the Yeah, it's a lovely pond, lovely. Mm. Mm. Right, let's see what happens. You putting breakfast on? No. Why? Well, you can have a porridge pot. I made you dinner last night. I'm making you dinner tonight. Bet you don't. I will, but you need to make breakfast this morning. We should phone Bart. We'll phone Bart. Let's do some phone calls. Let's phone Bart. Bart. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a little look at what bait I'm going to use this session. And the bait I'm going to use has got to be my favourite bait that DNA has ever made. It is incredible, and that is the bug. I've got them here in the beautiful little eight millies. I know the guys in the factory love an eight milli. A bit of a bit more difficult to make. Um, but coming from the match scene, I've always been a big fan of small baits, just because I like to keep the fish grubbing around the area. If you're trying to get big hits of fish, then you know you want plenty of stuff there for them to keep going at so that they don't leave the swim when you're catching. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the old crusher. I'm going to crush up some of these 8 millies, just make a, a little bit of crumb, and then I'm going to put some more 8 millies into it. These are dead useful, great thing to have in your army, one of these. Just dead easy. Crush them up. Now, I've done a few in there already, in true Blue Peter style. Um, I'm then going to add some 8 milli holes and I probably want enough that I'm going to do probably six six little midi spawns. Don't want to put loads out there, just a bit of attraction, a bit of smell. I'm going to add a tin of corn. Now I add a tin of corn because it's a little bit of colour on the bottom as well. You know, if fish are swimming nearby, the bit of colour might attract them to the area. Not a huge amount again. This time of year, not a lot of bait needed. So for that lot in there, I'm going to put about, I'll put the whole tin in. There we go. Nice little mix in there. I've got my little scoop. Just going to give that a stir up. And the juices from the sweet corn can soak into everything. And then finally, I'm going to add something that I rate as probably one of the best liquids in my carp fishing armory, and that is the liquid foods. So I've got the matching liquid food to the bug here. Obviously, this is the liquid that is added to the actual mix when making the bait. It's just, it's just awesome. It's just really, really good. I don't think you can particularly overdo it. Um, for this, I'm gonna put a nice glug in. And what I like to do is, as soon as I get to the session, one of the first things I'd do is set up my bait. And the reason I'd do this is because let that bug soak into the corn, let it soak into the crumb. So as it gets down to the bottom, you've got this great attraction from these liquids. You know, back with the S7, we used to use a lot of the S7 liquid foods as well, which are awesome as well. But the bug, it's just done it for me. It's just such a good bait. So I'm going to mix that up and I've got this lovely heavy mix. The crumb makes it quite quite thick. So obviously as it hits the water, it comes down and it'll break up after about two or three foot and then it'll create a nice spread. You've got a great attraction around there and it's just something you've got huge confidence in. And you can see there, look at that. It, little fleck of colour in there, you know, trap the fish. The water is... It is fairly clear, I'd say the visibility is probably a good couple of three metres. Um, I know it's quite a shallow lake. Out in front of me, there should be seven, something like that. I know where Moz is just to the right, there is a little bit more depth. So a few spoms of that out, and then I'm going to put a couple of eggs over the top, and hopefully we'll bag Mr Carp. But only time will tell. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. We've not long got the rods sorted for the evening and earlier on I noticed that there was a few fish showing sort of just over halfway. So what I ended up doing 
was getting one of the rods or the rod that I was fishing close in because that hasn't really done anything and just tied up well I've kept it sorry I've, um, so what I've done is kept the the bug wafter on there and just sorry just try and get control of this fish a bit more um, as he's swimming towards me Line yeah, I know. I'll watch the lines, I'll let you know if you move. None of them move, you ain't got it. Sorry, he's just swimming right towards me at the minute. I'm trying to Doing sort of right. concentrate. Yeah. Here we go. So, back in control now. And yeah, I just basically chucked a single bug wafter over to where they were showing. And yeah, we're in, which is ideal. So, this is. The right hand rod. That ain't been out long, has it? But has no, it? no, I would say he's been out probably for about an hour, yeah, Bones. So, only about an hour, isn't it? yeah, so. grab that net for us. It'd be nice to get this in. Hopefully, we can, hopefully, it's one of the mirrors because they are absolutely gorgeous. The mirrors are. Which it is, it is one of the mirrors. Oh yeah, he's lovely, him, isn't he? Yeah, proper pretty fish. Aren't yeah, they? gorgeous. Oh, don't do that. So here we go. Oh, look at him. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. Sideways on. He's lovely, isn't he? Look at that. Oh yes, get in there. Yeah, That's man. Better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. Look at that. Oh, stunning. Not as big as that thing, but he's a yeah, he's not a monster, fish, but he is a pretty one, yeah. And a bite is a bite at this time of year, that's the one for sure. Oh, well, look at that for a mega, mega mirror. He is gorgeous. Mid double, I'd say he is, and yeah, I'm sure you'd all agree that is one gorgeous, gorgeous carp, and another bug muncher, of course. So yeah, just uh, being observant and seeing them fish show this morning has definitely helped me put this lively one. All right, all right, all right, on the bank for sure. So yeah, just sort of lining up that horizon marker of where they were showing this morning. Got that rod in that was in close, chucked just a bug wafter over the top and away you went. So absolutely mega with that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous carp. Right, let's send him home and put some grub on, I think. Wicked. Sand Disc Extreme SSD. Yeah, yeah. You're in? Yeah. Oh, well, the rechucked bug wafter has shot away, which is ideal because that's not been in the water long and the light is fading rapidly. So. Fingers crossed we can get this one in sharpish. Get the rod back out there and you never know. This one could keep going, but this is a good sign, definitely. Fingers crossed he don't wipe out the other rods. Good sign for you. A good sign for me. Not so great for the Bonio at the minute, but hey, listen, right, Bones. We're having fun. We're having fun. Having that That's fun. what it's all about. <laughs> That's what it's all about. So, yeah, it's gone underneath that one. So yeah, the bug doing the do at the minute, which is ideal. So, it's a great cold water bait, definitely. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, what is a good winter bait? And without a doubt, the bug is the one. So I don't think he's a monster. He's 
ragging around like a lunatic at the minute but it's a fish all the same it doesn't matter how big they are in the winter looks like a little plump one plump mirror yeah by the looks of things oh yeah hello hello you there we go nice 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 Well, look at that for a mini beast. He is a proper cool one. Big old shoulders on him. Proper pot belly as well. So they all come in shape, different shapes and sizes at the boathouse, that's for sure. But that is a proper cool calf. And would you believe it? He's actually 15 pounds, this one. 15 pound 10 to be precise. We thought he was a bit smaller than that, but, but no, he's wicked. Love that. Right. Got the rod back out there. Fingers crossed there's some of his bigger resident mates in the area still. So, right, let's send him on his way. But that is one cool carp, definitely. I'll take him in December. Mwah! Morning Bones. Oh, we're alright. Do you want to sing a Kanye West song like everyone does on Instagram? Yeah, but I don't know who Kanye West is. Oh no, no neither do I. No, I just, I've seen him anyway. on the news. But um do so, you have a Levine. <laughs> go on, have a go. I was a skater boy, she said to you later boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, any joy last night? No, I had a couple of beeps on that um right hand rod that I just put a little bit more right. Mm. But Poaching yeah, me up a bit more, yeah, well, but I was. still it, didn't work. No, it didn't. It was just a savage. <laughs> savage. Savage. It's like the savage stitcher for me going here. Uh, <clears throat> it's, I think it's made it apparent that they are, because you are deeper, aren't you? You're like eight, nine foot. Yeah. I'm like sixes. Mm. So it just shows, I think, they're definitely down in the deeper water. Yeah, yeah. Which is why, well, I've leapfrogged you today just with one rod. Just yeah, Because we've got a few hours left. And yeah. I thought, I'll come past you. There's, there is that little bottom bay. Um, it's definitely deeper than where I'm fishing now, so I've just put um, a little pink uh, peril out. Yeah. And uh, a little mesh bag of some crumb and just see what it does. Yeah, you know, yeah. You had bites on singles yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, so I did, yeah, and sort of this sort of time as well. Um, just got a text message. Oosh. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. I bet, yeah, I bet you sing that to yourself every time that goes off and you're in your little van going, oh, no, you just got to text me. <laughs> it's my NHS vaccine. Oh, you having your booster? Uh, I will be, yes, because I'm old. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll turn so, that on silent like a professional. Yes, well done, Bones, yeah, we well done. So, so back, to the, back to business. Yeah, uh, well, it was this sort of time yesterday that I got bites. Yeah. So, um, but they're not, we saw by now they yesterday. started showing, yeah, mm. and they're not showing at the minute. So maybe it's, they'll, it's a bit later on that it might happen, sort of well, thing. We've got, we got about four hours left. Yeah, we? Four, four yeah, we have. Yeah, so. You had quick bites yesterday, those two fish. Mm. It was literally one, it was in the water an hour, gone, yep. half an hour, gone. Yeah. It was like, hmm, so they're obviously, they were obviously there. Yeah, I think little groups come over, sort of thing, and I've just picked a couple off. So, yeah, I mean, my bait is spot. I didn't have a bleep on that at all last night. It was only the rod that I'd moved slightly right that had any sort of indication on it. Right. Too. Yeah, we will pursue it this morning. Yeah, had a good time. We had a nice yeah. curry last night. Yeah, we? yeah, lovely. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. nice. Very Felt nice. that this morning while I was running to the <laughs> clenching. <laughs> <laughs> that was painful. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice, the old log fire going. It yeah, yeah, night. really nice. Yeah, it's still well, nice to be out, isn't it? I know yeah. I haven't had anything, but it's. Um, I still love being here. Even yeah, mate, mate, mate you'll get one, definitely. That rod, so, that yeah. rod will go, without a doubt, I'm sure of I it. I did you think know. about saying I'm doing another night, even though we've, we've, you've got to get going. I thought we should do another night, but... Yes. I think I need to get home and get on with some work as well. Yeah, mate. Yast. Well, yeah. 
I think there's another bite in it still. Yeah, personally. I think so. so. You had bites in the morning. You had a bite in the morning, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, my ones bite ones had already come later. by now, sort of thing. It was about half eight and it's just gone nine. So. Yeah, the other ones were, what, half three? <clears> it's gone four. Yeah, now. yeah. But yeah, we we'll shall see. We yeah. shall see. Yeah. So, Right. But for now. I'm going to put the kettle on, I think. Oh. Mm. You're going to make me a better coffee? No, Bones, it's about time you made me a coffee. Yeah, but it, I'll make you a tea and put the milk in first. I'll give up with you. <laughs> Just to show you the rigs that I've managed to catch a couple on, <laughs> why are you on the rig? <laughs> Stitched up, as always. <laughs> Same at Farlow's. You got on the right bones. Where'd you go? Oh, yeah. No, I'll go and buy the islands. That was you on the left. You water, catch some bream. Mate, I'll give you first choice, son. No, you didn't. You were already set up when I got to Farlow's. Yeah, no, here. So you gave me first choice and was like, go in that first one. <laughs> I thought, Moz knows the lake. He, he won't stitch me up. <laughs> I haven't stitched her, the fish are on you now. I think they might have moved up. Yeah, they've gone left, hoping. mate. They haven't gone right. So, mm. yeah, the rods are a little bit quiet at the minute. So we'll show you the rigs that I've um, caught a couple of fish on. The first one, the first bite anyway, was on the old faithful Ronnie rig. Loads of you have seen this rig before, obviously. But I'm using a stiff hook link on mine. Just like the way that that kicks out all the time. And then that is a bug white half tone on there as well. You're fishing pretty much similar yeah. other than different material, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, the, the run is, you can't fault them really, Moz, can you? They, no. They're so easy to tie. You know, I have a load of them tied up in a packet, which I haven't steamed yet. They're just all ready, so I can just quickly set them up. They just, they reset themselves well. I'm using a stiff material, but it's a coated. Mm. And you know if, if anything picks that up, even if it's like a, a big roach or something picks it up and lets it go, they always just reset. Yeah, just, yeah. It's just a great rig and it just works so well. I'm, I mean, mine's the same as yours. I've got a pink, that's actually a pink half tone bug. Um, I like the pink peril as well. That's another one I tend to use in the winter. But mm. yeah, I've been unfortunate not to catch a fish. I thought the first day after I had that liner that yeah. I thought, oh, we, we could be in for a little bit here. I'm kind of hoping they might have moved up for this last morning and I might get one. But yeah, they have been quiet, not showing. Yeah, mm, definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's a different morning this morning entirely. And I have got a feeling that the fish have sort of gone left rather than sort of gone right. So, but it's just one of them things. But yeah, that's so that's the first rig. And then the second rig. Now, what you'll notice is that hook's like stained itself black yeah because it's obviously been sat in the silt out there so yeah. you know it's a good little indicator as to you know what you're fishing over um obviously feeling the lead down all the time it was a softer thud than what i'm getting out on the other spot but that is a bug wafter just you know it's not a bright one it's you know it's quite a subtle hook bait there yeah. but that you know it just wafts with the hook lying flat wafts like so just a good you know sort of single it tactic works, doesn't it yeah mate yeah i mean most people fish bright ones yeah. but sometimes you know just having that little subtle Again, that's, hook that's a is... d-rig and it's there's nothing complicated about it at no. all. they're so simple to tie aren't they yeah yeah you know it's nice and easy that yeah i i tend to use quite a few whips on yeah. that bit i put i think it's 10 or 11 brings it a bit further whips. up the shank, yeah so it? you yeah. get a bigger d then yeah. sat on the back of the hook but everyone likes a big d don't they we all love a big d eh <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the video. So, so yeah, that's Very what did me. That's what did me a couple of bites as well. Nice, simple rig, mm. and um, and yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully this one will do me a bite. But we'll wait and see. We've got we got left. We've got a couple of hours now, left now. Hours yeah, left, well, three or four hours left. So it's just funny they haven't showed this morning. Yeah, like different morning. Like yeah, entirely different morning this morning. The weather's pretty much the same though, isn't yeah. it? Other than that, fog's not rolled in. Yeah, you it's, know, it's still just the same sort of temperatures and stuff, yeah. isn't it? It's, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think the pressure that we've given them, I think they've probably just shifted less. You said slightly, that, didn't you? You so. said that about this lake that they don't yeah. like the pressure. They do move. But then I haven't really rechucked. The only thing I've done is moved the rod down there this morning. Yeah, yeah. You've had one recast, haven't you? You weren't quite happy with that. Yeah. That yeah. wafter and yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed for one. Mm. Yes. Hopefully, we can finish the session with the fish for yeah. One. If not, nice. still enjoyed it. Yeah, mate, it's been wicked. It's always good. Right.
Right, so the approach that I've gone in with and what's got me bites, we've obviously had a look at the rigs. Now, what I'm fishing over the top on my baited spot is the bug, obviously. This is such a great winter bait. I get asked a lot of questions about what bait I use throughout the winter. Well, the bug is an all year round bait. So through the winter months, spring, summer and autumn, this is definitely a bait that I use throughout most of my angling, have done for nearly a couple of years now. Now I've got the 12 millies there, so 12 mils just into a bucket and the 15 millers as well. Now I've ran out of 8 millers, so that's why I'm using the 15s and the 12s. I would probably use 12s and 8s an if I had them, but I've ran out of 8, so I've got the 15 millers out and it's worked for me. So nice and easy into a bucket. Now, with the boathouse fisheries, you have to use their house pellets. So I've got a bag there. You can see I've used most of that bag already. Just that straight into a bucket with the pellets. Okay, don't need to do loads in there. It's just, you know, enough for sort of 10 spots really. And then to finish it off with the hydro spot syrup. So obviously I've got half a bottle of that left. So use plenty of that, lash that into the bucket mix that round and all them boilies and the pellets will take that liquid on and it just gives them that lovely attraction when they get to the bottom of the lake so just mix that up now I do like to try and do this a few days before my trip and what you'll find is all that liquid ends up soaking right into the bait so with this trip because I didn't have any of the house pellets I just made the mix as we started but you know a key thing to do is definitely do this a few days before if you can put that liquid on and then it just gives all of that spot mix a lovely attraction so it's a great winter mix this using the bug like I said it's a great bait all year round and it certainly worked for me on this trip. You'll see him, that picture thing he's got from this. Yeah, there, there. Oh, that's on, that's on. That's on, that is. Yeah. That's on, that is, yeah. Uh... Oh, right, well, the right hand has gone, which is the rod that I reach up this morning, and we're into what feels like a better fish, definitely. That big sort of dead heavy weight that you get where he's just sort of lumping around. Um, although he is going right, right, right. So I'm going to have to, oh, normally if you pull them the way they're going, they turn round, but I'm going to have to run up the bank here, I think. Yeah, you may need to pick this rod up, Bones. Bones. Yeah, you grab the rod. That's it, mate. Go, yeah, that's it, mate. Sweet. I'm going to need a net, boys. Get in there, John. Oh, look at him. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's what we're after. Well, that is not a bad way to end our trip at the awesome Boathouse Fisheries with an original as well. These are the mirrors that I was talking about and I'm sure you would all agree that is one gorgeous, gorgeous carp. Absolutely mega. So here he comes, the Bonio. <laughs> here he comes. I'll get involved. 
That's a lovely car. Oh, man. they are, aren't they? They're proper. Yeah. I'd like to have got amongst them. Yeah, There's still yeah. a couple of hours left. Hopefully. Yeah, 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 you never know. Yeah, it was nice. It's been a really good trip. Really yeah. impressed with the lake and everything about it. It's, you know, I mean, with these fish, it shows that location is key, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah. All your bites off one spot, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and they were obviously just in the slightly deeper water, but, you know, I've loved every minute of being down here. Yeah, mate. Loved yeah, being out with wicked. you. Yeah, that has been good. <laughs> yeah, it's a wicked one. Really enjoyed it, mate. Excellent. Right, let's get this fish home. And uh, yeah, what a carp. What a place. You can get your hands over the stove like normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>